I'm Deborah Borchardt and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The big news this week was the announcement that Cureleaf was buying Grassroots in a deal valued at $875 million. Grassroots was one of the few remaining multi-state operators that was still private. This deal will give Cureleaf the Midwest footprint that it lacked because of Grassroots operations in Illinois and Pennsylvania. In May, if you'll recall, Cureleaf acquired Select, which will give the company its West Coast market. Now with all three pieces of the puzzle filled, Cureleaf is on course to challenge Acreage Holdings as the largest cannabis company in the country. We have a few earnings to go over this week. Organogram reported its third quarter net revenue of $24.8 million, but it fell sequentially by $2 million from the second quarter's net revenue of $26.9 million. The company blamed it on fewer reorders from British Columbia. They also delivered a net loss of $10.2 million, and the cost of cultivation increased sequentially as well. That sent their gross margins down. Organogram said that it has gone back to its previous method of growing, and they are preparing for the edible and vape markets to launch in Canada later this year. Valens Growworks reported that its revenue increased to $8.8 million. That is 296% over the first quarter. However, they still had a net loss of a whopping $10.5 million. Canopy Rivers also reported its fourth quarter and year-end results for fiscal 2019. The operating income was $6 million Canadian dollars. That was down from $19 million Canadian dollars. Now, their operating losses did decline a great deal, but they still had to report a total comprehensive loss of $30 million for the year. Tilt Holdings said that it has signed a binding term sheet for a private placement of $125 million. They said they will use a part of this money to retire a $20 million credit facility that had a pretty large interest rate of over 18%. The Arcview Group announced that they closed a $7.7 million Series A financing round. Leading that fundraise was Trivergence Investments in partnership with Cresco Capital Partners. And finally, a decision by Israel's Securities Authority last week is opening the door for cannabis companies from around the world to explore a public listing on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. Keep in mind, though, adult use cannabis is not legal in Israel. And that's it for this week. You guys try to stay cool out there in this big heat wave. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report from our studios in New York.